Hey guys, this is Ishmalamte. If you happen to be a postpaid electricity user in Ghana, the chances of you sometimes not receiving your bill on time is very high. Sometimes you don't even get the bill at all. Now, if you happen to be a tenant or a landlord, you might be wondering the amount of money you should be paying for electricity in certain months you don't receive bill or it doesn't come early. Now, in this particular video, I intend showing you the ECG web portal or self portal which allows you to be able to see bills you've paid in previous months and then the bills that you actually have paying for certain months and then a couple of things you can actually do with the portal so without talking further let's go ahead and then get into the video so to get started you can simply visit google.com and then type ecg so once you enter ecg here it is going to give you a link to their website which is ecgonline.info so when you come to their website there is a menu icon over here which can take you to the web portal section so once you click on this uh, menu icon here just go ahead and then expand um, services that's customer service here and then when you expand customer service you have services at the bottom go ahead to expand that also and then click on self-service portal so this is going to take you directly to the portal which in case you want to directly go there it is web portal but ecggh.com so once you visit this section there's going to be a form for you that uh, for you to log in or to register for an account so in case you don't have an account simply go to the register section and then at the register section you can select either to register as a tenant or a landlord so let me just select a uh, tenant here the next step is to provide the meter number so the meter number is actually on your bill so you go ahead to specify that here and then you specify your id type so you go ahead to provide the details of your id and then you select the customer type which either individual company and so on and then you provide your email address which you have to confirm when you are done you go ahead to read there at uh, terms in case you're interested <laughs> which you have to read and then you go ahead to register now if for a landlord um the details are not um that different so the only thing you provide here as a landlord is the spn number which is your service point number in case you don't have that you can simply specify your account number and then once you enter the account number over here this part is going to be faded up so you don't have to provide those two so you realize that this is gone in case i clear this and then i specify this this is also cleared out so that is it for the spn number and then you also specify the customer type you specify your email address you confirm you read the agreement and then you register for an account so i already have an account i'm going to go ahead to head to the login section and then you enter your email address now when you create an account an email is going to be sent to you which is going to come with the email address seven as your username and then a password a default password which is going to be created for you so all you have to do is to log in into that password uh, with that password and then for the first time you're going to be requested to change your password so that's when you change to a different password now when that is done i have done all that so i'm already logged into my account as you can see and then there are a couple of things you see in here so the first section is account now if, if you had uh, but you have different accounts listed on that, that particular meter number account number once you come to accounts you see all those accounts so in this case i just have one account so that is why i have these details here and then here shows the account shows whether it's active whether it is um, taken off and so on and then when you come to the next part you have bills so this is where you probably may be interested a lot where you get to select the um, bills um you've you've uh, probably um, gotten or you haven't gotten for a certain months that everything is going to be stated over here so yeah so once you come to this particular session you get to see the bills here you see the details on the bill whether it has been paid or not paid whether it has been sent to the customer or not yet you see the bill date and if any payment was made on it you see the details of that bill and then in case you want to request for some sort of statement within a certain period to a certain period you get to specify that with this calendar here so let's say maybe 2019 and let's say december to uh maybe december 1st to this particular period maybe now so once i go ahead to hit on search it is going to generate that bills for me to be able to see the amount which came and then their payments that i have made on the account and then um so that's basically for the um the bill section you get to see details about your bills and then for your consumption which is very important also it gives you a rough idea about what you are using and how much you are using so realize that there are certain months which are high certain months which are low so this actually helps you um in case you have to make any um, kind of changes to whatever you are using you get a fair idea about your consumption here then you are able to implement that so you can see with the graph over here that 
as a month goes up, as a month comes low, and then it keeps going up and down. And here also, you get to you know select a couple of um, or specify a couple of details of right here. So um, you get to specify maybe consumption based on the readings that were, were done electronically, or maybe by um, you know somebody coming to your premises and so on. And then you come to the transaction history, which is also a very important aspect where you get to see the amount of money you've paid so far and then the dates those monies were paid so and then maybe type how do you pay whether you do you pay with a mobile app or you paid with maybe at a location of any of their offices so you get to see those details over here so you can also specify a certain needs range and then you get the details on that particular um transaction and then you are able to download as well which is also very important part here and then you have the service request which has a lot of um services under needed so the first one is um, when you click on service request if you've requested for any service you see the details of that particular service here then you have new connection so new connection is when you're applying for a new meter so that's when you're going to need the new connection to do that so in case you need a new meter you just head to the new connection section let me just click on it you specify the details over right here and then you go ahead and hit on send and you should also print a copy of it so whenever you're heading to your office you probably have a proof of requesting for a meter and then additional load so in case maybe you are adding up to whatever you've been consuming that's a company so maybe you are using some machines you added new machines this is where you go to specify um, those details um, for the additional load you are looking for it to and then that is going to be done for you so um, there's this uh, probably maybe in your house you have just two lines coming to your house you could probably request for four maybe if you've increased your usage so that's when you need the additional load session to do that and then you have separate meters so in case you are in a house, maybe a tenant, uh, maybe uh, you're a tenant, or you're in a compound house where all of you are using just one meter. You can actually go request for your personal meter, so you don't have to be having issues with the entire house when there's a challenge with the power. There's the change ownership section, which allows you to um, transfer um, your meter to a different person. So in case you're in a house, you sold your house, or you're renting your house, and you want to change the details or the name on the meter to somebody else. Can actually go ahead to use this particular section to do that and then you have changed tenant so if there's a tenant in your house maybe resides in um, a bedroom house or maybe whichever house it is and then um, you change the name from um, the maybe your name to the tenant's name whoever came to occupy the place and then the tenant is, uh, the tenant is moving out and you want to change it to a new tenant's name you can use this section to do that and then you have my application so in case you've requested for any application so far you see the status on those applications over here and if you have made any saved requests so any of the requests here if you've saved any of them you can go ahead and then see those details here and then finally you have complaints so in case you have any new complaints you go ahead and then um, specify the type of complaint and then you go ahead and then hit on you know um, new complaints you specify the details and then you go ahead to send so uh, basically this are uh, the things you can do with the ECG web portal which unfortunately the web app or the mobile app doesn't allow you to do that so the mobile app also allows you to pay bill and see a couple of things but it doesn't give you all this information as you can see with the web portal so um, what I haven't spoken about has to do with your account so in case you want to change the details on your account you can also come to my account over here and then specify those details yeah, to change those um, details and in case you need any help you head to the help section and then you see some um, help over here which you can read from and then in case it solves your question you are good to go so that is just the end of the ECG web portal um, section or site which allows you to um, have some sort of self-service you don't always have to rely on ECG or call them to have a problem solved for you so you can actually use the um, the web portal to um, you know, solve some of the challenges you may be encountering with their services. So that's the end of this video. In case you are new, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. My name is Eshma Lamte. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.